I just call welcome back to the channel. So today's video is about how to cover severe um, acne and also dark marks. Um, yes, yeah, as most of you guys know from my Snapchat, I have posted that I broke, I have broken out so much due to a, a new product that was recommended to me that I started using. And yes, um, you guys can already tell. You see all this going on in my face. I have a lot. I have bruises too from that product. And I also have like a couple of wounds because at first I thought it was a regular pimple and then I started like playing with it, messing with it and this is what happened, okay? So I only I only used that powder for about like three to four days, but guys, you guys, <laughs> what the heck? Anyways, I will tell you guys what happened, okay, to my face throughout the, um, the tutorial, okay? But... If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give it a thumbs up. Also, definitely um, tell me what type of video you like to see next and I would make sure I do so. And definitely follow me on all my social media platforms. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat because I'm really active on those and I make sure I talk to everyone and respond to everyone on, the, on those social media platforms. And yes, let's get right into this video. First, I'll put the primer, my Becca primer. Um... I don't know. I'm thinking about fast forwarding this this um tutorial. I might, I'm not sure. That would depend on um how long it takes for me to tell you guys the little story and how long in general. I'm not really putting much guys, I'm really like dabbing like just a little bit, but I'm taking my time to put it before I mix it. Like I put it all over my face. And with this Becca, you have to be quick because it dries fast and it's really matte. So, yeah, you guys can tell. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, here you have it. I have my primer on already. And I will be using color corrector, of course. And the one I'll be using is from, where is it? This one I'll be using. Come on, focus. That's what I'll be using to color correct, of course, my face. And even if you have a wound on your face, you use the same method as I stated, and you know, you'll be able to cover it really good. Are you gonna come out? Okay. I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can. I have a mirror down here. Actually, let me put it like this. There we go. This is so annoying. Come on. So, guys, someone recommended to me a product that was supposed to be helping me with my dark spot. And I used that product. And, guys, when I tell you guys, I started breaking out. At first, I thought, you know, it was just regular pimples. Then, every. I used this. The, that product that was recommended to me for like three to four days and every I'm not putting a bit much because that's because um I need it <laughs> really I do and um every morning I was waking up guess what I was seeing two to three new pimples up to now but I stopped using it like I, I stopped using it like two days ago so that's why the is have not calmed down and everything oh guys i forgot to wet my beauty blender i'll be right back so guys i'm back with my damp beauty blender and now i'll go ahead and like i'm not gonna like swipe it on my face basically in the swiping motion i'll be dabbing it in okay so i'll make sure um the product stays Like, I have never broken out this bad. With this type of spot, guys, you have to pretty, pretty much color correct your whole face. Let me not lie. And, I, like, even when during my high school years, this has never happened to me, so... I'm not gonna lie to you, I was crying yesterday so much. And people were like, oh, why haven't you posted on YouTube? Like, this is why, guys. 
like i plan on posting so many videos but this happened oh by the way i'm using my matte poreless foundation by maybelline color 360 and i i put some on my brush already and i just like dab it in my skin because i don't want to touch my face with my fingers right now and you know you don't swipe it once again you start by dabbing it first i'm gonna help you i will tell you guys when to start like doing the swiping motion you dab it in your skin first For the side here, I swipe it down and then I, I keep dabbing around my face. After you're already looking like this, okay? Now you can start dabbing. Before you dab, I go like this. Like since my brush has opened so much, I like try to close it back and start dabbing. Because I feel like, you know, by closing it back, I'm getting all the, you know, fluff back together. So more pressure to dab it in. That's how, what I feel. And now, right here, I swipe it down, like, um, backwards so you can touch my neck. So my neck don't look so uneven. Basically. And since I have so much going on, on my face, guys, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm shaking this so some more can come out. I'm gonna add more foundation because I'm not working with this with this that's going on, on my face, whatever this is. So you know what? I have a new one right here, a new bottle. Let me just use that because that one is already finished. And it's the same color too. So I just knew this would happen. Oh, that's a bit too much. Okay. Now I'll go back to dabbing it all around. Wipe it down, but yes, guys. So I use that product, and I'm not gonna name it here unless you guys really want to know. But it's not really a known product. That's why I was told to try it because it will be working and you know making my my skin like my face basically feel look flawless and all the stuff. And like the person that told me about the product, I really like believe the person. So. I guess it's probably something to my skin. Maybe my skin just doesn't like something in that product. I don't know. But that's why I always tell you guys not every product works with everyone. Like, that's just a fact. But um, yeah, I hope this video is not too long. I'm not going to do too much today. Just because I want to show you guys how to cover it. Like, you guys see it? Like, almost there. And now, I go in with my beauty blender and I just dab it on the spot. I feel like need more um that are not basically as matte as i want them to be i just dab this in like this like i'm pressing it in my skin i haven't seen no one do this on their videos so when i realized that it was helping me i was like let me just share it with you guys so this really helps you just really press it in your skin and at this point if you use powder you can put a powder but you guys can already see like let me go they like it's not showing as much anymore yeah so now I go back with that brush I spray it all around like the foundation so it looks even with the rest of my body and yeah you guys see that's I cover with the foundation and I'm gonna keep going so you guys can you know learn more because I just I do more than just that the next thing I'm gonna do is use my concealer color fawn by LA girl pro but yeah so I'm not gonna lie to you guys this was pretty scary what happened to me my skin and I went out this week and people were like oh you look so flawless you look so good that's because guys this is what I did like my skin started mess, messing up and basically that's what I did to go out this weekend.
or last weekend because today's Monday yeah and now I'm gonna use the other part of my beauty blender to dive it in basically you know the part of my my beauty blender that had the um when I was dabbing in the corrector, I'm gonna use that same part. Remember, same part to dab in the concealer. Why? Because it's gonna help me mix the orange tone of the corrector with the concealer. And this is how it's gonna look like it's gonna cover. It's gonna cover those parts as well. Especially if those parts are where you um highlight and contour. And by the way, guys, after you get rid of all your blemishes and acne and other stuff, whatever sponge, especially sponge that you were using for your makeup, please make sure you throw it away because you don't want to, you know, I will add more concealer. I feel like I didn't, it's not covering enough. And then since I have some more around my, face, around my mouth, I'll go up a little bit with a little bit of concealer. I'll take some more. And yes, guys, um, this is really terrible. And I almost went to the hospital. I was like, if after I get, cause now the um the product I'm using to make it calm down, cause it was it was like burning whenever I was watching my face. Now the product I used to calm it down was um recommended to me by a pharmacist, cause I went to the pharmacy. And um, that's what I've been using since. And I feel like it's actually working. Because every day I used to wake up, when I, when I was using that product, and I didn't know it was that, like making all this happen, I would wake up and see like two, three pimples, four, like they were just adding up. So I was just getting tired. I was like, what is this? Like, I don't understand. Until like three to four days later, I was like, let me just not use this product. And then I didn't use it. I woke up in the morning. My face, no more people. Like, like no more people were added. But I still had the pimples, of course. But no more people were added. So I was like, snap. I was literally counting my pimples to make sure no, no pimples were going to be adding up the following night after I was done using that product. And um, nothing was coming out. I was like, oh, snap. There's no doubt it's that product. I used my Sasha Buttercup powder to go in and touch up my face now I feel like I'll be fast forwarding the video because basically I told you guys the story if you guys want to know more just hit me up Instagram snapchat or Twitter I'll make sure I answer you guys If you already know me, I know I don't bake. Mm -hmm. I don't like baking. I feel like it's useless. So I leave some powder like this. I just start like dabbing in them. And as you guys can tell, whenever I conceal or like set my um this part of my face, I always let the powder or, or let the concealer touch my eye. Why is that? Because I'm actually working on my eyeshadow um base again you go up with it like you guys see it's getting better okay all right i'll use this fluffy brush first to like just Pass it all around my face to make sure I don't have any extra um, powder hanging. I'll make it pass around my face first. And then um, I'll go ahead and contour my face a bit. Not so much. i just do a little bit of contour. But of course if you guys don't get into all that contour and highlighting stuff. You already showed you guys basically how to hide the dark spot so you guys you know got information right there thank me later and um yeah i'll be using my 3d face creator by ruby kiss by yeah by ruby kiss and i'll use the dark shade i just need a little bit 
Well, that's enough. And a bit of oil. And I put a bit on my forehead. I don't need much. And I use the same brush too. Like make sure you make it like in a circular motion. And make sure there's no harsh line. And now I'll go up with it since I put a bit on my forehead. Oh, sorry, my nose. <laughs> and now we're going with the powder because remember, whenever you put cream, you have to put powder. And it's from the same company, Ruby Kisses. Or do I just dab it in? And I like putting some around here. One of the places I, I um, was concealing, and I bring some more here on the side here. Now I'll go in my, my Bobby Brown, and I'll be using this brush to I tap it twice and I just just like so like I tap it twice and I just like put it down where I conceal my face like this I see that and for my chin I tap it um twice as well for my forehead I tap it once because you already know the glue shouldn't be too too real on this forehead and for my nose once it's all I need and once whatever is left on the on the brush, I like just putting it down here under the the um my dark wherever I put my dark contour thing on. And now it's time to put the glow. But before I do so, I like um setting my face first. I didn't put too much. Oh, I hate myself. Now I'll put my mascara while it's still drying. And for my eyeshadow base, I will use the same um, highlighter. And that's by Colourpop Wisp. Yeah. People use this as a... I think it's actually supposed to be used as an eyeshadow, but... I use it for my highlight as well. I'm gonna be using this brush. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, see that? I like going like this. Same thing on the other side. a bit my nose side of my face a bit here like I'm really like passing it by I'm not really putting much and I'll put in some here my bottom lip since it's a simple look I'm, I'm showing you guys um, I'm just gonna put regular lip gloss at the end use this same highlighter a bit and I share that and I share that and a bit in here as my eyeshadow just a little bit because I like I don't want it to be too dramatic I'm not putting fake lashes today Cause this is a quick um, look for people that have acne, um, severe acne. Cause what's going on with my face is just not normal anymore. This thing looks okay. I didn't add any more, guys. I'm just making sure it looks good. And um, 
what else what else my lips like i said i hope oh this is looking good and yeah guys that's the finished look now we'll be setting my face one more time and let me go wear my hat okay so i can look a bit more presentable catch you guys with my hat okay so guys this is the finished look and yeah i just didn't want to wear a wig right now but yeah that's how i look what dark spot what acne like what wound what bruises like i don't see it where where but yes guys thank you so much for watching and once again if you're new to the channel don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up also don't forget to like comment and share this video around so so many people can get help by me on how to cover a severe acne and severe dark spot on your face but yes guys once again thank you so much to all the new subscribers and welcome 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 i cannot wait guys we are almost at 3,000 subscribers you already know we're making it okay g squad is the best squad out here okay thank you so much for watching once again i'll catch you on my next video bye